Hello, ladies and gents. My name is Georg Macher, and I'm the leader of the Industrial Informatics Group. I'm welcoming you directly from the new office here in the headquarters at the Institute of Technical Informatics. Since our merger with the Real-Time Systems Group, me and Professor Eugen Brenner are co-located in this beautiful office. But let me introduce you to some further important information. In this video, I want to introduce the Industrial Informatics team. I will also use the opportunity to explain a little bit on the main topics. Why do we do the stuff that we are doing? Why are we here? On how? Who are we? And how do we work in this combination? Also, how do you benefit from this work that we are doing? And finally, also giving you a little bit into the what. So what is the expectations? What can you expect from that? What do we do? We, the Industrial Informatics Group, we are composed of, of these guys here, postdocs, PhD candidates, master students, and also student employees that you might know or that you might come across if you are joining us for some lectures or also for joining us for some project work. But let me come to the why. Why do we do this stuff? Why do we teach the way we teach here? It's because we want you to learn and uh, Great teachers and great teachers have great statements here, as we see from Lao Tse. When we only tell you, you will listen. If I show you how to do it, you will see it. But if I let you experience, you will learn. And also other teachers like Albert Einstein or also Christian Kreiner, a former colleague here at the Institute, by learning, you will teach and by teaching, you will learn. And the knowledge is the only thing that grows when you share it. And we are in the knowledge sharing, we are in the knowledge trading, and that is our focus that we have. And we want to share our knowledge with you and grow by sharing our knowledge, also our internal knowledge. Why are we here? Why are we doing this? Well, let's start with a little thing that is called value proposition canvas. Why are we here? Basically, this is focused around you. What are your jobs, your needs that you have? What are your gains and your pains in this job? And when we consider this around you, you want to learn, you want to receive a degree, master thesis, seminars, bachelor degrees, or the lecture exams also. The pains that you have, it might be that you might have not so good ideas on scientific works, or not that much experience on how scientific work is going to be and how it works. You might have some uncertainties about the efforts, the times, maybe uncertainties related to the skills and the motivation that you have, also uncertainties related to the lectures that we are giving. On the other side, what can you gain if you're joining? Definitely theses that are a nice add-on for your CV. Maybe job opportunities when you're doing the thesis in combination with a research group or with a department of a company. The industrial context that we can also get here by the lectures where we include our industrial experts to give guest lectures. Experiences for life. Definitely something that you can gain via lectures, via different works that we are proposing. And for sure, and this is the main reason also, you want to gain the competences, the skills, the knowledge that we are transferring with these lectures. On the other side is our offer. What can we offer to support your gains, to relieve your pains? What is the package that will deliver these reducing or increasing factors? In terms of the pain relievers, in terms of the reduction factors, the R&D funding projects and the MacGyver works that we are having give us a good overview what is currently bleeding edge and needed. It gives us great opportunities of talking to other researchers. The research experience that we have, that could also help you if you are uncertain about the efforts and the skills. The work plan and also the expertise that we gain. We are always enhancing our teachings with the expertise that we gain from different research projects, from different consultings that we do with the industry. On the gain side, on the positive side, what we support you with is interesting research topics, really state-of-the-art latest topics, industry projects in combination with industry, 
the i3 career path opportunities for a career path also with our team and what we are always keen on bringing to you is extracurricular experiences the learning for life and also a bit of a challenging factor so the little spice of challenging to have it a bit more juicy a bit more spicy how we do this is by our different research focuses. We are focusing on dependable systems. We are focusing on real-time communication technologies, service-based automation approaches, risk assessment and expert judgment topics, and definitely on a lot of different industrial applications that we are accompanying and where we are also doing our research topics related to. Also, one cool thing, these MacGyver projects, these projects that are the misfits that don't belong to any research topic, that don't belong to any activity of any institute. These are what we call MacGyver projects where highly motivated engineers just think of a problem, think of a solution and implement this. So the reason why are we here? Why is it so challenging that what we are doing? Why do we require from you a certain challenging task or project? It's because of you, because you benefit from it. You want it this way. After the why topic, let's come to the how topic. How do we do this? How do we work? How do we differ from other teams, from other teams at the Institute or at the university or from other teams at industry? Well, we are a group of scientific staff only. That is one factor that is separating us from several other teams. And what we also do is a tight cooperation with the industry. We have these tight cooperations in forms of projects, but also in terms of trainings and consultancies. We are also included in industry trainings and also in consultancies. Then the question is, how do you benefit from that? What's the point of that? How do you benefit from the coursework that we are doing? Well, you benefit from this cool opportunity that we present in the lectures. And the way how we do this is by the introduction for the first section. We have some quizzes, some questionnaires, some revision of the last lectures or revision of what is the pre-knowledge that you have. We will introduce new topics in every lecture, sometimes asynchronous, sometimes also in synchronous lecture style. We will introduce you to new topics. We will definitely make breaks to also digest the knowledge and to also get to know what we learned and do group works. That is an essential thing. We do in this workshop style, we always want you to give you the information and to also put the hands on. Do the group works, work with the new knowledge and experience the pain points and the gain points. And here have a easier learning. With this hands-on, you easier learn, you will adapt faster on, on what is requested and what is needed. Then we do also group presentations and reflections, discussion style or plenary styles where we reflect on what you find. We want you to present yourself. We want you to represent also the group, the activity that you have been doing. And we are also coming up always for our courses with some add-ons, with some asynchronous lectures or video lectures. We introduce you to some cool, nice learning platforms or invite experts from the industry to give us some expert talks. It's a bit changing. It's elaborating over the time. This is something that will be annually a bit different. Also, we have the summaries, wrap ups and lessons learned, which we will introduce where we bring also our learnings and where you also have the chance to wrap up and redigest what is important. The way how we do this and what makes it a bit different in this course is we will provoke you for actions. We will provoke you and we will ask you for taking actions. We expect you to be there with your body and with your minds, really be dedicated to the course. And also we want you to have thoughtful considerations and discussions. Also different viewpoints, different perspectives can be taken into consideration and have their added value to our course. And definitely we expect you to work motivated and dedicated for the being of the course 
This will help you improving your grades or getting a good grade and also continue to work on a topic that you are interested in. When we come to how you benefit from this, it's also related to the learning levels. There are these four learning levels that are very frequently in use, where the first one is just the reproduction level, imitation level. But we want to bring you further also on this step. We want you to apply this knowledge. We want you to apply the knowledge during our lecture times. Therefore, we have the group works and the plenum discussions. And we want you to also further derive it, transfer it, and deduce some additional knowledges, apply the knowledge that you gain in the context of other projects or of a deep dive topic that we will have at the end of our lecture blocks. Why we do this is to bring you to the highest level to problem solving, that you are able to solve other problems that might not be directly presented in our courses or that might not be directly related to the project that you did here. And when we still come to this question of how do I benefit from all these parts, then I want to introduce you also to the I3 career path. We are the industrial informatics team at the Institute for Technical Informatics. In short, we call ourselves the I3 team. And we have our career opportunities with the first step, the lectures, attending the lectures and being part of our lecture blocks. This will be the first step, which you might take further, go for bachelor thesis or seminar projects, provide there some more knowledge. Maybe also join us in the project team in our research activities that we have in our research projects as a project assistant or do master theses together with us, where you have your own task, which is solely for you, where you are focusing on one specific project and doing there the research, gaining your master degree by doing this. And then there's also the follow-up steps, like becoming a PhD candidate, becoming a postdoc in our institute. These will be also opportunities that we can offer. And that brings me to the, what do we do? What is it that we are doing? Generally, we're giving different kinds of courses. This is an overview about the courses that we are giving. We have in one semester, the design patterns course consisting of a lecture and a practical also, where we are focusing on software development design patterns. That is also in close relation to the international conference called Europlop, where a conference series is dedicated to design patterns. Then we have the industrial software development and quality management lecture block, again, consisting of a lecture and a practical, where we are focusing on quality evaluation, on quality assurances in the context of process quality, on how we produce better software codes. We will do this in the context of the automotive setting, but nevertheless, the learnings that you gain there can be easily transferred also to other settings. The third block that we have is fault tolerant computing systems. Again, lecture and practice. So you see, this is a pattern that we are using all the time because it makes your learning easier. It makes your learning more sustainable. And in this course, we are focusing on functional safety, safety evaluation, again, in the context of the automotive setting. And again, these learnings are transferable also into other industries. Question is now, why do we focus that much on the automotive? Because it's quite a huge domain and everyone has a knowledge about this domain. And the basic concepts can be transferred to any other domain. We will have also specific acknowledgements and specific deep dives to say, which concepts can be transferred and can be found in other domains. And the final block that we have is selected topics on embedded and automotive systems, a seminar. And that is a very specific and cool setup that we have. This will be changing annually. It will be always focusing on the most recent research activities that we have. It will be related to industrial setup or automotive setups to dependability issues, considering safety and security, reliability. 
it will be also related to cyber physical systems of system approaches and innovative system of system thinkings. We will be always focusing on the most recent topics that we are doing in our research projects. And due to the factor that this seminar can be taken by master students or PhD students or bachelor students, we will adapt the way how we do this seminar upon what you have as pre-knowledge and what you bring in as your specific knowledge. We'll be able to adapt also here the, the teaching plan. The seminar could be practically, so that we are doing some practical implementations, or it can also be that we are going into some research topics that we are searching for ways how it's approached, that we are implementing some software, or that we are doing some research activity in the relation of publications of what is state of the art in the science. Yeah, and when the going gets tough, the tough get going, or I show you some of the re more recent accomplished missions that we have. We have some small robot arm that has been a research project and that has been controlled by one of our bachelor students. We have a AI system in the test environment. You can see there the depiction also of the test environment of an AI system that is interpreting a scenery. And we are trying to evaluate how well it does the interpretation of the scenery. That was also a setup of a bachelor student. He started with a bachelor. You can see also he's using sensorics. He's using real world vehicles like the tractor and the sign that is there. And also in the back to distract the AI also some other driving scenery. We have a test bed that represents the electronics of an actual power plant hardware where we are testing as a service approaches, power plant as a service, if you want to go to the extreme. And also automated or remote controlled vehicles. We have there some testings in terms of latency and jitters and how we can remotely control a vehicle over the Wi-Fi and keep it in a safe manner. Another cool project is actual real components from the automotive industry, which we are extracting from the serious product and which we are trying to hack, trying to attack and get some findings. That's one of the recent projects that we have for you. And you see the setup that one of the students built up to inject faults, to test some situations. And we are in close cooperation with this OEM. If we have some findings to also report to them and also have the interaction with the engineers and find out what they can improve and how they can improve. That is it about the general introduction to our team and I will further introduce also our research projects and our lectures. See you in the next video.